Hi everybody, happy Friday. Welcome to Facebook Friday. It is August 10th and today is all about back to school. I don't know about you guys, but my kids are home. We have two weeks left till school starts. Ugh. So it's time to start preparing. And if you need back to school treats and your kids have already gone back to school, believe me, there's no, it's never too late to send a treat to your child's teacher. Um, so if you're watching in the replay, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate all of you, whether you watch live or in the replay. I'm gonna take just a minute and share this on um, Facebook to my business page. And of course, as always, I, um, we'll give away prizes to those of you who share the video. I'll do a drawing. And as I'm saying that, I'm just now remembering that I forgot to draw prizes for last week. I have never forgotten before. Hi, Kathy. So I promise today when I'm done to go back to last week's and pick two winners. And I'll let you guys know. I can't believe I've did, I did that. I've never done that before. All right. I've got it shared. Um, I'm going to start pretty quickly today so that... We can get through all the little things I want to tell you ahead of time, and then um, we can start stamping. I actually came up with four projects this week, but I had to narrow it down to three. So I'm going to have a bonus project for you on Monday. It'll go on my blog. I've already recorded the video, and it'll be a bonus back to school um, project. I have a hard time limiting the back to school stuff. I used to be a teacher, for those of you that did, don't know, I taught for 17 years. So I like to do things for the teachers. I know how much it means. And these, if you don't have a need for a teacher treat, these can be easily adapted to um, treats for friends, for your own kids, um, grandkids, whatever, you'll see. Okay, let me fly through the announcements real quick. Today is the last day to sign up for this month's Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin is a, a kit, an all-inclusive kit that comes once a month to your house. It includes the stamps and the ink and projects. And so August's kits will start shipping in the next couple days. So if you want this month's, today's the deadline. And there's a special promotion. It's called the Blooming Summer Savings. If you are a first time subscriber or if your email address has never subscribed before, you can use this um, promotion and get 50% off your first month. So then it's $10. And you guys, this is a no commitment kind of kit. You can cancel anytime. So if you get that first kit and it's not for you, you just cancel it. Um, so anyway, here's the code uh, Bloom0818 that you use. This is only available on month to month subscriptions. And um, you can go to paperpumpkin.com and do that. And I'll post a link afterwards for you guys if you're looking for this. It's been in my newsletter, but I don't know if you guys are all in my newsletter. Second announcement is the holiday catalog. I am trying to ignore this as much as I can because we've got things to do. I've got things to do between now and September 5th. So I've really been trying to not pay attention to this, but I know you guys want it. If you are a current customer of mine, you don't even need to worry. It's already, a label has already been printed for you this weekend and next week, my kids, this is what they're doing. They're packing these up for me. But if you don't have a demonstrator, and you'd like one, just message me or email me and I will be happy to send one to you. Just give me your mailing address. These go live September 5th. So we still have, I don't know, what is that, like four weeks. So I'm trying my best to ignore it because I know I can't really do anything with it right now. Um, bonus days, August is always bonus days. And that means you get a $5 coupon with every $50 you spend. Um, no code needed. It's gonna automatically prompt you if your order is over $50. So just keep that in mind, and it's cumulative. So if your order is $100, you get two of them, and you can spend them in September. Um, those are fun. Make shopping in September, that new holiday catalog, a lot of fun. Um, if you were on my blog yesterday, you saw the tutorial bundle. This is a program that I've been doing now for I think about two years with other demonstrators around the world. We collaborate every month. Everybody um, designs a tutorial using current pro products, and we bundle them together. You can see all the designers there. And I give them to all my customers um, who spend $50 or more. I send it to you for free. Um, and if you are not a customer, maybe you're another demonstrator, you can subscribe to this. Um, and August, the first month of the six month, it runs for six months. The first month of the six month 
window is the only month you can subscribe. And when you subscribe, you get the six month for free. They're $15 each month um, and you can pay monthly or you can pay all in one lump sum. But either way, you get that six month for free. And let's see, I can't show you the projects. We have to keep it top secret. But I can show you one of my pages right here. Mine is a 3D this month featuring the Follow Your Dreams Suite. I kind of like it. Here's another page, but you can see it's all step by step. No matter what country you're in, um, we do uh, metric and imperial measurements, so inches and centimeters. <laughs> I had to think for a second. So that's in there. So it doesn't matter. And you can subscribe. No matter you can subscribe with me, no matter where you live. Um, but that, those details are on my blog, just yesterday's post. So you can go and look at that. Um, I just this morning sent out everybody's who's earned it in the last week. I sent it to you. If it doesn't show up, if you placed an online order that was $50 or more, um, I owe you that. And if it for some reason doesn't show up, please let me know because I want you guys to get it for free. Um, last week we did the Color Your Seasons projects. Remember that? There were three of them. This is a limited time stamp set bundle with framelits. I love those framelits. And the new watercolor pencils. They're not replacing the old ones. This is just in addition. They're all new colors. So this is only available in August. Don't forget that, okay? And if you go to the Stampin' Up! Um, page to order, it's front and center. You'll find it. So don't forget, if you want that, it's only in August. Okay, so I announced a couple of, no, just one new class. Well, it's a combo class. My friend Rhonda Wade, um, who's one of my um, closest Stampin' Up! friends, she and I have collaborated on some classes um, over the last few years, and we've got a new one. We both design a class, and then we offer them together. And if you get both classes, you actually get a hostess stamp set for free. Um, so it's it's a good deal. Um, each class is $35. Get them together for $70. It includes shipping, and it includes that um, stamp set. So mine, the stamp set, the hostess set. Mine is the um, Blow Out the Candles bundle. Um, so it's the stamps and the framelits. It's 10 cards. Rhonda's features the pop of petals, um, the punch, the flower punch, and the flower stamp set. Um, and hers is 10 cards also. So you can order both of them from me. You'll get the make and takes, a pack, of, an entire pack of paper, a bolt of either ribbon or tool. They, they both have ribbon. One has white ribbon, one has tool ribbon. Mine comes with a Wink of Stella brush. Hers comes with some buttons. And, um, and then if you get both, you get that hostess set. Now this is different from my normal classes. It doesn't include the bundle. We're assuming if you're ordering these, you have the bundle. But if you don't, you can add it on and we are giving you a slight discount on those if you add them on. It's kind of confusing how I explained it, but just go over to my blog. You'll see a whole post write up about it. If you love to make cards, these two classes together are 20, you'll make 20 cards and you can order them both from me. You have to actually email me for that registration link, okay? So make sure you check it out. It's called, we're calling it Card Cafe. Um, Card Cafe with Rhonda and Erica. And the, today's PDF, which is on the post that just went live, hopefully, has the details right here. Here's the picture. And right there, if you type that in, that's going to take you to the place you need to be to get all the details and figure out if you want one or if you want both, if you want to add in the bundles, whatever you want to do. Um, and remember, those prices include shipping, okay? The last thing I want to tell you about is I got my projects designed for my retreat. I've never done a retreat in September, but this year I'm doing one. As you guys know, I'm trying to hit my 500,000 in sales, my half a million, by September 30th. I want to have it done at the end of the Stampin' Up! calendar year, so that's September 30th. So my August and September need to be really strong. So I decided to add in a retreat, because we all love a retreat, right? Um, so this retreat, um, is I'm calling it Summer Memories. One of our projects is going to be, <laughs> my rabbit always loves to, to come in during Facebook Live. Um, this retreat is going to include a mini album. I'm gonna show you in a second. Um, the local retreat is in San Antonio, September 1st. There's only a few spots left for the local retreat. And it's, all, it's one day, it's 12 hours. The option, the second option is the retreat to go. You get everything 
that the local people get in a box delivered to you, except lunch. I'm not gonna mail you lunch. It would be yucky by the time I got there. So the one day retreat is $99 and the retreat to go is $79, but they both include $50 in product. You're gonna get a pack of paper, you're gonna get a pack of memory and more cards, um, you're gonna get epoxy stickers, a bolt of ribbon, what else? I can't remember. Washi tape. It's all consumable stuff. Some of you have asked because you know I'm doing the best route suite. It doesn't include the stamp set or the embossing folder if you already own those. It includes all the other stuff, the consumable stuff that you'll use to make the projects. Here's one of them. Isn't that cute? A big gift bag. And inside I have some of the projects. A notepad holder or a notepad cover maybe. Uh, I'm going to save the best one for last. Uh, Ten cards. We've got 10 cards with the envelopes, of course. And then, oh, my rabbit, I'm gonna have to let, he wants out. Let me let him out. We have a new baby bunny. Okay, go, 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 don't chew on the door. If you've ever had a rabbit, they chew on everything. And we let them free range somewhat in the house. And uh, it's time for him to go live in the backyard, but it's too hot. Anyway, here's the cute, the cutest gift, my favorite. I mean, project, it's a suitcase. And inside is a memory album, a, a mini album, to put all your summer photos in. See, I'm not gonna take it all the way out, but there it is. It comes out and you can put all your pictures in there. So that's what we're gonna be making at the retreat. So the retreat to go will include everything that I've showed you, a full color PDF and all the pillow gifts. Pillow gifts are little treats that I make for everybody. Um, so you can get the, um, retreat to go and the retreat right now. It's on today's PDF. There's a link so you can go register for it. But if you just want the PDF for all of these, that's available now too. Um, it's in my PDF store. You guys always ask about the PDF option and that's over there. If you, if you want that and you want to make some, some of this stuff. Okay. Thank you, Nancy. I saw your comment. That's sweet. Hi, Robin. Sorry. I'm very parched. Okay, I think that's it for the announcements. I try to do it quickly. Um, class to go, retreat. If you've never joined me for Facebook Live, um, Facebook Friday, make sure you go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. There's two things there that you need to do. You need to get the PDF for today's projects. I have all the product information and the measurements under each project. And then over here is all the things that I just told you in case I was talking too fast. There's also the hostess code. Now I always offer the make and takes for free if you put, put in your order by Monday night. Um, if you use that hostess code, I'm gonna send you today's make and takes. They come like this, this was last week's. And they're free, I send them as a free thank you. But you only have from today until Monday at midnight and you have to use that hostess code. Hi mom, there's my mom. Um, Unless your order is $150, then don't use the hostess code so you can get the stamp and rewards. Because once you hit 150, you start earning free stuff. Um, and I would rather you get that free stuff. Um, and I will still see your order and still send you the make and takes for free, okay? So hop over there, pinkbuckaroo.com. The second thing is you need to enter for today's big prize. Hi, Denise. Thank you. Um, the big prize today is a ribbon share. These are all the ribbons, every single ribbon from the annual catalog. That's a pretty fun one, right? I had an extra one when I did them, and I've been holding on to it just in case anybody got one lost in the mail. But I think it's time to give it away. So every ribbon there is in the catalog. So go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll to the bottom. There's a little widget. You enter your information, and next week I'll draw a winner for that. Now, last week I was giving away this marker set. Right, that's a good one. Darcy Dutton is the winner, and she and I have already been in contact today. Congratulations, Darcy, it's an excellent prize. I think so. Now, I also said that I would give away two prizes for sharing the video, and I forgot to draw winners. I have it sitting here, and I just totally forgot to draw winners. So I will do that from last week, as soon as we're done today. I'm gonna set it right here on my computer. This week, for sharing, I've got two sets of Stampin' Blends. So if you would be so kind as to share my video on Facebook, I will enter you in the drawing for these next week, okay? Okay, I think we're ready. Back to school, are you guys ready for back to school? How many of you have kids at home? 
Um, we've had an amazing summer. My kids have been wonderful. Um, really, this has probably been the easiest summer we've ever had. Um, thanks probably to Fortnite. <laughs> if you have kids, you probably know what Fortnite is. Um, it has been great. All the neighbor kids get together and they play and they stay busy. So it's been, it's been nice. However, the mommy guilt, I know they're playing too much video games. However, it lets me get work done. So, you know, struggle, struggle is real. Anyway, they need to go back to school. I need to not be driving them around and in and out, in and out, dogs barking, everything. I need some calm, quiet, but we don't start until the 27th. So I've got some time to get some teacher gifts ready and I've got some ideas for you, okay? All right, I'm gonna um, take my phone off of this stand and put it on another stand. And if I accidentally hit end, which I hope I don't, just I'll start a new video, okay? All right, so I'm gonna switch you guys around. You can see out my window. And then I'm gonna hook you in here. I've got a, I'm gonna have a sophomore in high school this year, which seems ridiculous because I feel like I'm not that much older than a sophomore in high school, although I, I know I am, but it feels like yesterday when I was a sophomore. And then I've got a fourth grader. And then, this is funny because when I had this phone on here earlier, this was totally centered, so let me move this over. And then I've got um, one going into sixth grade. Oh, sixth grade's a hard one. It's middle school here for us. So, I don't know, she's excited, but she's also very, very nervous. Um, and so really, you know, I didn't send, when Ellie was in middle school, I didn't send too many teacher treats. Um, I don't know, they kind of just, I mean, I did some to her favorite teachers, but she never wanted to, you know, they have like eight teachers, but I did some. So now Addie's my last elementary school schooler and uh, we will have to really um, take care of her teachers this year. I'm gonna turn that fan off so my uh, phone won't shake so bad. Here's our, our treats today. Judy, your baby's 53, oh my gosh. It goes by too fast. Here are our treats today, and I was going to try to do everything with this take uh, picked for you Apple stamp set, but I just had so many different ideas running around that I decided to just kind of mix it up, and I'm using all different stamp sets. Um, remember, go over, print your PDF, or save it so that you have the measurements. All the measurements are right here, and I'm actually going to put it next to me so that I will have the measurements. Um, and I told you I had a bonus project. Here's my bonus project. I will have the video for it on Monday. It'll be on my blog, okay? So we're gonna put that one to the side and we're gonna focus on these. Um, we're gonna start with the yellow one first. Let's get started, you guys. I've talked too much. All right, here's this stamp set called Picked, um, Picked For You. It's really pretty. Um, this apple is a three-step three stamp. And I'm gonna be honest with you, when I first tried it, I got very frustrated. I couldn't get them lined up and I put it away. Then when I pulled it back out, I thought, duh, this is perfect for the Stamparatus. So when I used the Stamparatus, it was like perfect. And, I, and then it totally made sense. The stamp looked beautiful. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna use the Stamparatus for this. Um, because when you're stamping just with your block and you're trying to really line these things up, sometimes it's difficult. You think you're, you're there, but you're not, and it's off, and anyway. So that's what we're gonna do. Now I've also used another stamp, and I'm gonna use this, um, on the next two projects. Do you see the little the little lines here? This is from Better Together. This is a double set. And here are the, the little writing lines. This reminds me of kindergarten. Um, I don't know if you guys can hear this stupid rabbit. He has been sleeping all day and suddenly now he's in here chewing on the boxes and chewing on everything. Oh well, anyways, um, hopefully it doesn't distract us. It's distracting me. Hopefully I won't distract you. So that's the one we're using right there. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start with Pineapple Punch. Oh, I didn't tell you it was in the box. Don't you wanna know what's in the box? Well, you know, when I see a back to school treat, it goes immediately into the cart. Uh, my friend Kay Cogbill, I don't know if she's watching today, she texted me the other day and she said, oh my gosh, have you seen the little Debbie back to school treats? And I had not, so I couldn't wait to go. Um, these were from Target. And however, don't go to your Target, go to littledebbie.com and click that button up in the right, um, the right corner. I can't stand when I can tell my paper is crooked. There we go. Um, 
littledebbie.com, click that button in the top right corner, it, it says snack finder, and you can enter your zip code and find the snacks that you want. So I always um, wanna tell you guys that so that you don't drive all over town looking for these. So anyway, these are bus brownies. How <laughs> cute. You know, Little Debbie just keeps using, they just keep using the same cake or cookie or whatever and just using it at different holidays. But I'm totally fine with that because I love when everything is thematic and it matches. All right, so let's make the box for our bus brownie. You're going to need your Simply Scored. And I am using Pineapple Punch which is all the way back here in the corner, and it measures six and a half by six, okay? So you're gonna need to be um, aware of which side you're, you're doing because it is almost a square. So on the long side, you're gonna score it at three-fourths of an inch and five and three-fourths, and then turn it, and on the short side, you're gonna do half an inch, two and a half inches, three and a fourth, and five and a fourth. Now remember you guys, all, the, all of that is on that PDF, pinkfactory.com, go get it. Don't write it down, I'll post it, you'll lose it. Um, also, I have recorded, pre-recorded these, so there are clean, they're gonna be clean recordings of each of these projects on YouTube this afternoon, hopefully. They're already uploaded, I just have to make them visible. All right, so burnish all your lines, and let's look at this this side. That this edge right here is a is a skinnier edge than this. So you'll see the skinny edge, and that's going to be our lid. That's going to be the lip that goes down into our box. So right here, let's cut off these little rectangles because we don't need those. And then let's cut off these at a, um, these corners, okay? So just angle that, those corners. Now, cut up these score lines to the horizontal line, the horizontal score line. And these are gonna be all your tabs. It looks like I got lipstick on that right there. Do you see? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Okay, now there we've got our box. Everything is cut and ready. We're gonna put adhesive, actually no, what am I talking about? We're not gluing this together, that's the next project. All right, so flip it over. This is your lid, remember? This is the um, the little lip that's gonna go down into your box. We wanna put adhesive on these four squares. So on the front side, and remember I'm using Fast Fuse because I hoarded a bunch of it before it was discontinued. I know. You guys are gonna to have to put up with me using Fast Fuse for a little while. But if you don't have Fast Fuse, use Tear and Tape, okay? That's the strongest adhesive and that will keep your box together. So fold these tabs in like this and push them into that longer rectangle there on the end. This guy's not staying where he needs to stay. All right, so fold that up. There we go. All right, now, this is what we have. Here's your box, this is the lid. We're gonna take these side flaps and we're gonna just make them a little bit skinnier. So just cut them in half. And if you're particular and you want them perfect, do it ahead of time on your, on your, um, on your paper trimmer. But I don't think the recipient of my chocolate bus is gonna care whether they're perfect or not. All right, so put your brownie bus in and close up your box. There we go. Easy peasy, right? If I don't shove it down too far. There we go. Now I'm gonna take the real red cotton ribbon. I really stuck with primary colors, I think. Real red and uh, pineapple punch, blueberry bushel, um, call me clover. Those are all school colors, like a box of crayons. And lovely lipstick I could have used or poppy parade instead of real red. I think those would have done well but I wanted to use this ribbon. This is the Real Red Cotton Ribbon. How do I come up with these box templates? Um, what's the trick? Great question, Jessica. You know, I start with the treat and I start designing the box around the treat. I lay the treat on my grid paper and I start drawing around it, what size, what width and length it needs to be, and then on the uh, next to it I draw, you know, these tabs. I've actually shown that on a Facebook Live 
back in, I think it was February, if you want to go back and find it. Um, you just have to, it's a lot of experimenting, really. Okay, so this is the Stamparatus. We're going to use only one plate. So I'm going to set this one aside. And our stamp set is photopolymer. So that means we need to make sure we leave this foam piece in there. That's going to keep... Um, that's gonna give us a little bit of height because a photopolymer has, doesn't have the foam that the clear mount has. So you've got to build that bottom up a little bit. All right, so get a piece of Whisper White. And I like to get my, my white a little bit bigger, of course, than what it's gonna be. I want to be able to put it flush with these two edges. The photopolymer stamps are sticky and sometimes they pull that paper up. And it doesn't really matter because we're moving the stamps around. But if you were needing to stamp again and again, you'd want your paper to be in the right place. So you can move it if, it, if it came out, then you could just, you know, put it back up there in that corner and make sure that it's exactly where it started. So that's kind of habit, I always do that. All right, so let me show you these stamps. Stampin' Up! was smart and they labeled them. You can tell I've used mine a lot. This is number two, number three, Number one, actually, do I have these in the right place? Let's make sure I have them in the right place. I do. All right, so we're gonna start with number one. And I'm gonna lay it down right here in the middle, just wherever. We're gonna cut it out, so it really doesn't matter where it's at. All right, stick it onto the plate. Now I'm gonna get my Real Red. Real Red has, in our color revamp, has moved over. It's now considered a regal color and not a bright color. I'm having a hard time remembering that. All right, pull it up. Now, before you grab it and get ink all over your hands, take your Simply Chamois and just wipe it off. All right, we'll put that back and we're gonna grab number two right there. I'm gonna lay it down and see, you can kind of, doesn't it kind of look like the earth, right? It looks like the earth, ocean and continents. That's what I was thinking. So I was laying my ocean right here in with the other ocean, you know, opening there, if that makes sense. And then once I think it's perfect, lay it down on, um, close your, your little lid, your plate, so that it'll pick it up. And then, Stamp that. Each time we stamp, these layers are gonna be different colors. Some, some of the ink is layering on top of the other, making it darker. The, this uh, stamp is kind of abstract, like a watercolored um, apple. So it won't be, you know, don't expect it to look like a real apple. It's going to look like a watercolored apple. All right, last one, number three. Lay it in there. Close and open, and uh-oh. If I get ink on my plate, I like to wipe it away, just in case. Don't wanna get ink everywhere. And there's our apple. Look, I did get ink there, but that's okay, because we're gonna cut it out. All right, now it needs a stem, and I have the stem just on a block. And I'm going to use Early Espresso to add that in. And there we have it. So, you know what? Let me close my ink pads. I know better than that, especially the red. I feel like the red is magnetic or something. It attracts to my skin and gets everywhere on everything. I think it's time for my chamois to go into the washing machine. It's pretty dirty. I like to throw them in with my towels. All right, put that back on. I'm gonna put that in there. And let's cut this apple out. Fussy cutting, I know. Some of you hate me when I fussy cut. Some of you love it. Mindy, you don't have the chamois yet. Come on, Mindy, it's only $8. You do need it. I use it all day long. I actually have three of them because I want them in every corner, every place that I stamp, I want one to just be there. And you can put them in a clear mount stamp case and it keeps it wet for a while. Mine seem to dry out on the edges before I am, you know, I, I do towel, wash my towels on Sunday. So before Sunday, it always seems like it's dried out a little bit, but it stays wet all week. And I haven't had, some of you have asked about mold and I have not 
had any mold issues with it. So I don't know. It's great. I love it. All right. Where am I at? Let's get our circle. And we're going to, oh, just stuck my hand in that dirty stamp. All right. Pool party and the lines, the little writing lines that remind me of kindergarten and first grade. I'm going to stamp them. This is a two and a fourth inch whisper white circle that I punched. Do those cute little lines. And then we're going to add our apple on, well, I didn't need three. I just need two. Add the apple. Yes, Vicki, I, I have been putting mine in the washing machine. Now, I am sure that at some point we're going to wear these chamois down. I cannot tell you that putting it in the washing machine will make it last a lifetime. However, they're only $8. And I think, you know, you know, after you've washed your towels for a few years, you have to replace them. But yes, I've been washing mine every single week in the washing machine. And it comes out beautifully. The stains don't come out, but it's so nice and clean. Just throw it in the wash, yep, and then into the clear box. Exactly, yes, Angela, exactly. All right, here is the sentiment for a special teacher. Now, if you don't wanna give this to a teacher, just change the sentiment. You could use sentiments from any set that you have, but this one also has some cute ones. Um, you're terrific to the core. I think that's adorable. Um, you're the best, of course, for, for a special teacher, what we're using. Many thanks. I really did struggle when I was making this on which sentiment to use. I couldn't have picked a better friend than you. So clever. I love when there's puns. All right, so I just trimmed this down. I've been doing this a lot. You guys have probably noticed. To the height and the width of the words. That's it, just a rectangle. Nothing fancy, just a rectangle. Now where did I? Well, now I have my mini dimensionals here. Well, pooey, let's see. Are they on another tray? Hmm, here they are. All right, mini dimensionals. I'm gonna put one here and one here. Yeah, Monica, you put yours in the washing machine too? You didn't realize those were writing lines, Trisha. Come on. Maybe it's my teacher brain, you know. I see that immediately and say, oh my gosh, writing lines. I can't tell you how many writing lines I have seen in my life. And it has this. Look, it's a little cursive thing that, well, I guess, yeah, it's cursive that you can stamp on there. Cute. Okay, back to this. Here, let's come back. We need our 1 8 inch hole punch. I'm gonna punch a hole under the apple in that circle right there. And then grab my twine. And put it in there. Now, one thing about that chamois, you guys, is you can keep a little spritzer of water next to you so that if it does start to dry out, you just spritz it again and get it wet. And you could use our little um, you know, our little spritzers. What are they, two for three dollars? They're so cute and little. All right, whisper white twine, tying the bow onto the other bow, and voila, we are done. Do you like that apple? It's cute. It's a watercolor apple. All right, where's the original? Where did I put it? Here it is. There you go. Two apples. You could do the apple. You can have a green apple. You could have a yellow apple. The possibilities are endless, you guys. <laughs> okay, project number one. I hope you like it. It's a cute one. I like it. And now, since I have pre-recorded the video, I have three of them. So I've got three of those teacher gifts done. Check, done. All right, let's go on to the second project. Let me clean up just a little bit and grab my second tray. We're gonna use some of the same things, but some different. We are still gonna use this stamp set. Okay, remember it's called Better Together, but I'm gonna move it out of the way. Now this one, actually, I was, inspired by a super, super, super old project on my blog. When I first started my blog nine years ago, I was still working, teaching kindergarten, and um, but just new to blogging. I really had just started stamping up, and I had made these little things that held glow sticks, and it was just a folded piece of cardstock with a punched star on it, and I had printed out the words on the printer 
Uh, I think it said, we're gonna have a bright year. And I made all of those and put them on my kid's desk. I mean, super simple, you guys. That's all it was. Folded cardstock, punch star, that's it. It is my highest pinned um, image from my blog of all time. It is ridiculous. I want to go back and redo it and make it so much cuter. Um, but I mean, it's so old and I get more requests this time of year from teachers asking for a tutorial for it, which I think is funny because literally folded cardstock and a punch. That's all it was. No, nothing else. Maybe, maybe a bow. So anyway, this is my fancy version and I decided to put pencils in it. This uses... I guess I can move this one too. This uses the Treehouse Adventure. Have you guys seen this adorable stamp set? I have played with it. It's super, super cute. I'm gonna make a like a schoolhouse instead of a treehouse today. So that's what I was going for there. And I love that sentiment. Hey kid, you're awesome. So I made this with teachers in mind if you were looking to, to put something on your kid's desk. This could also be something you make for your own child to leave um, for them the morning school starts or even for a test new pencils. Hey, by the way, let me tell you about these pencils because you may not know, pe not all pencils are made the same. And when you teach the little ones, pencils are a nightmare. You, They stand at the sharpener and the cheap ones will sharpen for 10 minutes and they keep sharpening and then it's gone. There's no lead. It's ridiculous. Teachers love the good pencils and these are the good ones. You guys know of these pencils? Ticonderoga? Yeah, they're, they're more expensive. Like I think this box is like $3.99. It's not the 99 cent pencils. And you can even get them pre-sharpened, which let me tell you, makes a teacher very, very, very happy. So anyways, I bought Ticonderoga pencils for this project because if I was gonna give this um, to my kids, I would want to make sure that they had the good pencils. So you can get these at all the stores, everywhere, all the stores. All right, well, let's get started. Let's see, we're gonna start with the folding, the tutorial that everybody needed. This is it, ready? A three by 11 piece of cardstock. You score it at four and a fourth and you fold it in half. <laughs> Done, that's the tutorial for the first project. My most pen, penned um, image <laughs> from my blog of all time. Okay, so there we have that. I'm gonna set that aside for a second because we're going to take a piece of Whisper White. Remember, all of this is on the PDF on my blog. This Whisper White, I have to look, is two and seven eighths by, I said three, and I think it's longer than three because we're gonna put it in here and fold it down. But you could do three also because we're gonna cover the edge up. It could just go to the edge. All right, so let's bring back the writing lines. Yeah, Kathy, you're, you, you know, it's a nightmare. The pencils are a nightmare, yes, I know. Um, kids lose their pencils every single day they chew on them, the pencil sharpener eats the pencil. So they could go to a pencil sharpener with a brand new, just spanking brand new pencil, stand there for five minutes and get down and they have a pencil this size because it just never gets sharp. It's ridiculous. But those are the cheap pencils. Those are from, you know, like the dollar store. And I get it. I mean, we all think, oh, it's a pencil. No, no, these are the ones. All right, so I just stamped those lines all the way down. And I'm gonna put this in here like this. And I'm gonna grab my stapler. Hopefully it's right here. I originally used a stapler yep, for this. But you can use adhesive, depending on what you're gonna put in here. You could put a Sharpie. Teachers love Sharpies. Um, you could put a, um, a, you know, like a flat, flatter candy bar, whatever. Um, glow sticks. Kids love glow sticks. Okay, so there's that. Here's the designer series paper. This is from the Best Route DSP. And this one measures two and seven eighths by four. So I'm just gonna cover up those staples right there. And let's put the pencils in. These would be cute, I was just thinking for test day. My kids, and I'm sure where you guys are too, they take these state mandated tests and it's very stressful and anxiety ridden and this would be a fun little treat to give them in the morning of that test because it really is ridiculous these teacher teachers do an amazing job and the kids are over prepared and do great but they're terrified that they're not going to do great but don't get me started on that all right this is the double stitch daffodil delight 
Oh, my mom, Janice McCarty, that's my mom. She suggests, she's a teacher also. She teaches high school. And she says a gift card for a bottle of wine. Yes. I know a lot of teachers that would like that. That's funny. Okay, so there we go. We've got that. It's ready. Let's make the tag. We're going to use this stamparatus again. Oh, wait, no. What did I forget? You guys are probably yelling at me. What about the scallop? Um, I pre-cut this scallop right here. This is from, you know, the framelit I use on all the time. This one from our uh, seasoned seasonal layers framelits. That's what it's called. And so I just cut a whisper white scallop. And we're just going to put a little bit of adhesive there. And put it there and then just trim it so that it is the same width. And yes, I could have just made the paper the width to begin with, but it was easier that way because I had just a scrap. All right, let's slide that back down and cover that up. Now we're ready to make that tag. Okay, so let's pull back over our stamp apparatus. This was another stamp that I was getting frustrated with when I first played with it um, because I could not get all these little tiny things lined up perfectly. And again, light bulb went off. Hello, use your stamp apparatus. That's what it's for. All right, so take that cute little schoolhouse, lay it down, and my plates need to be cleaned. I think my chamois needs to be clean. And then maybe I wouldn't have all that streaky red stuff. All right, very carefully, so I try not to get ink on my plates. Real red, whoops, what's that? Real red. Okay, and let's clean it. Then we're gonna do the roof. How many of you have the Stamparatus and are you using it? All right, now this roof, you wanna look and make sure that it's lined up. This is the one that I could not get stamped correctly. There we go. Um, it was always a little bit like, like wonky. All right, now I'm gonna use early espresso there we go perfect and we need the shutters now the shutters go a certain way and I found out the hard way that if you stamp it wrong they're a little bit off I think that was right but let's just make sure mm, yeah I think this is right um, you can see exactly where you're putting it, which makes it so much easier than trying to. See how that pulled that paper up? That's a good thing that I have that. Let's make sure. Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, you know, when you're trying to stamp with a block, you think you've got it in the right place. Janie, your stamp apparatus is still in your in the box? Come on now, I know you stamp all the time. Get it out, I'm challenging you. I wanna see your first Stamparatus project, okay? All right, Janie is one of my downline. She lives in California. All right, a little door. Same, early espresso. Hi, Terry, uh, you're on lunch hour. Well, it is Friday, there is that. Glad you could join us. All right, now our little house is done except I'm going to add some grass, but I'm not gonna use the Stamparatus for that. You could, but I felt like I could just freehand this one because there's no real lining it up. I know, Kathy says, I don't know how we stamped before the Stamparatus. Things have definitely changed, you're right. This is Call Me Clover. I'm gonna do the little grass in two little areas there. Now, I'm also going to stamp the welcome sign. Hopefully the welcome sign will make it look like a schoolhouse and not just a regular house. So I'm gonna stamp, I'm gonna stamp it over here because we're gonna fussy cut that too. And then before I just pull, put everything away, let's go ahead and stamp the sentiment. And we're gonna cut this one out. So I'm just gonna do it right here on the edge. We're gonna do it the exact same way. And you could do this with a stamparatus too. Um, we're going to do this exact same way that we did 
the previous one, we're gonna cut it to the height and the width of the words. All right, so let's start with the two inch circle punch. Punch out our cute little schoolhouse. And then let's cut this guy out, just like that, which we will fussy cut in a second. And I'm gonna get my little paper trimmer over here. This is my super old paper trimmer. That is my favorite thing. It's very, very old. All right, trim that just, just, you know, a rectangle. And we're actually gonna cut it right after kid. Hey kid, you're awesome. All right, so now when you're fussy cutting, this is small. And if you didn't want to fussy cut, you really could make the house over a little bit and put the sign over on the side. But I kind of like to have some dimension. When you fussy cut, cut away as much excess cardstock around it so that you're not trying to turn a giant sheet of cardstock. Use your smallest, sharpest scissors. The big scissors make fussy cutting very difficult. So if you're frustrated, that may be your problem. Use tiny scissors. And then just cut on the outside. Leave a little tiny white border around your image. And I'm gonna put a tiny little, tiny little dimensional, mini dimensional, right there to the side. Let's see, mm, right there. All right, let's put it together. Now this time, instead of actually tying a loop through it, we're gonna do a faux tag, and it's just gonna be stuck on with dimensionals. With a box, it was a little bit harder because we needed to lift up that lid, but on here, we're just gonna make it look like it's tied on. So get your bow exactly how you want it and then just stick that down like that, with dimensionals. And last but not least is our sentiment. <laughs> Janie, you do, it's a schoolhouse, a tree house. It could be a, you know, regular house. It's so cute. And there we have it. Three more treats done for me, you guys. I feel like I am making some progress. Very cute. The stamp set, might you might have overlooked it. Treehouse Adventure. Look at all the little elements that go with it. It's very, very cute. All right, I hope you guys like that project. We are on to the last one. Let me clean up a little bit. I don't think we need the lines anymore. Do we need, we need our early espresso and our real red. Now all of these supplies are on that PDF. I don't think I forgot, whoops, I don't think I forgot anything this time. However, when I was, where's my little, my little hand sanitizer? When I was filming these videos in the morning, I realized I did have several mistakes on the PDF. So it has been corrected. I don't know where I put that one, but here's the other one. Let me get the hand sanitizer and put it in there. Oops, all right, now we're ready. So now the PDF's corrected, you guys. That's why I like to do, I like to uh, film those ahead of time. That way I can correct any of the problems that I might encounter. I, I seem to make mistakes on my PDFs. <sighs> I know, maybe it's the three kids and the four animals running around. All right, hand sanitizer, yes. Bath and Body Works, my favorite. I think we must own a hundred of these. We love them. We went into Bath and Body Works early in the week and found this one, apple picking. So of course, I made this little holder. Now you might recognize this project. Um, about two years ago, I did a class for Jar of Love when it first came out and it included a holder like this, exactly the same, except it had, um, Hershey Nuggets in it, okay? So you could put Hershey Nuggets in this as well. I don't know if the box is the same size. On that PDF, the box might be a little bit smaller, but I made this box so that it would hold the little hand sanitizer. Okay, so let's get started. If you're looking for that PDF, I linked it in today's blog post. I love the Jar of Love stamp set, and that PDF, that class, was one of my all-time favorites. All right, look how, how used up my, I have used these stamps more than any stamps I've ever owned. You can see they've been well loved, very well loved. Oh, Alessandra, this is your favorite. And Carrie says her husband just made a challenge to make a back to school card. For you, you gotta make a back to school card? Well, now you've got three different ideas of, of stamps you could use. All right, we're gonna stamp the largest jar 
two times real red ink on real red cardstock. Let's close that and get Granny Apple. Of course, we have to use Granny Apple Green on this little apple jar, an apple ball jar. Um, when I originally made this project, I was inspired by a, an actual ball jar that they had spray painted to look like an apple. I saw it on Pinterest and I had to do it because it was so cute. All right, now one thing I wanna mention is that we're gonna cut a window in one of these. So we're gonna use this oval. This is the smallest oval um, framelit from the layering oval framelits. And when I filmed my video earlier, you guys, my magnetic platform was giving me fits. It would not hold these framelits in place. I don't know what was happening. It was like, it was possessed or something. So hopefully it will behave. All right, so there's that one. And usually it's the little ones that jump around. You know, the little framelits jump around between the magnets, but it was the big one that I just could not get on there. If that ever happens, you have to grab some post-it notes and hold it on. This one may need a post-it note. Okay, come on. Behave, okay, nobody, nobody breathe. There we go. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I've never, I've never seen my magnetic platform do that before because generally it is very, very helpful. But today, I was ready to, to scream. All right, so let's see. We're gonna get that one. I don't know if you guys can see. If I'm still in the shot, but let me come this way. You know what? I'm gonna cut this off. This extra. Yeah, the oval window make the oval framelit makes the perfect window. Um, it's not, um, it's like the perfect size. Now this is the one that was jumping around. Let's see. All right, come on. All right, I'm just gonna grab some post-it notes. I don't know what the deal is with these two, just these two. Everything else I did today was totally fine, but something about these two, they're, it's like they're repelling each other. All right, get that there. I'm just gonna take my post-it note and that will hold those in place. That's how we used to do it before we had a magnetic platform. See, this one does just fine. <laughs> Isn't that just weird? You're gonna make these, Patricia? Good. Yeah, and you know, the hand sanitizers at Bath and Body Works, I think they come out to a dollar. If you buy five, it's five or five dollars. Um, but you can also, like I mentioned, do the Hershey Nuggets. And I wrapped DSP around them um, in that project. And it was really, really cute. All right, let's move this out of the way. We're gonna need our Simply Scored. But first, let's put this together. Yeah, I this that video, sometimes when I shoot a video, I can get it shot all the way through. Sometimes when I shoot a video, I have to stop and start and stop and start. In this, I think, uh, this video this morning, which really should have only taken me about six or seven minutes, it probably took 45 minutes. I, I don't know, it was like a comedy of errors. One of those days. Okay, now we want this to look like an apple, not just a red jar with a green lid. So take a piece of early espresso, just a scrap, and cut a rectangle and then cut the, um, the angle at the top. Yeah, Angela, Bath and Body Works. I don't know if they're online, these. They probably are. They're, you know, new fall, a new fall uh, scent. Okay, so let's stamp this. Now, this is funny. This stamp, another thing that happened in the video, kept falling off the block. I need to take them and give them a bath. If your photopolymer stamps, start stop um, sticking like they've lost their stick because you've used them so much like mine go take them to the sink and just give them a little bath of dawn liquid soap and um, set them out to dry and they are like back to new back to you know how they were when you got them um, like new all right couple glue dots and I'm gonna put that across there let's trim that off and this piece of whisper white I didn't measure it it's just a little bit taller than the words. All right, so let's make the box. All you're gonna need is a piece, let me look at my notes on the PDF right here. This real red, it is one and a half by five and three fourths, okay? And we're gonna make it have a little quarter inch 
um, lip around it. I found that if I did the half inch, it was sticking above this a little bit. So we're gonna do a real tiny lip on that. So on the short side, score it at a quarter of an inch and then at one and a quarter. And then turn it and score the long side at two and three and three fourths. All right, so burnish, burnish, fold, fold. And I'm just, all you gotta do is snip right here. We're actually just making the sides and the bottom of our box. The apples are the front and the back. All right, now I found that I needed to use tear and tape because it's skinnier. And it was easier if I put the tear and tape here on the little jar itself rather than here um, because it does poke out just a little bit from the apple and then you could see it and I did not like that. So put your adhesive on the apple, the apple jar. Thanks Peggy for sharing, I appreciate it. Um, I will draw prizes next week for everybody who shared and I had an epic fail this week. I just totally forgot to go do that. I have the prizes sitting here and I just never drew a winner. So I will do that in a little while. All right, so here we go. We've got adhesive and I'm gonna first lay it there in the center. You can see how this box is, because the jar is rounded and the box is square, it's gonna stick out just a tiny bit, but that's okay. And then fold this one up, go along the edge there, make it even, and then this one. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing with this one. A little bit of, a, of tear and tape here. And I've got this, well, nope, not anymore. I'm gonna put this right here on this side and thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Doreen, I appreciate it. And Carrie, thank you guys. I appreciate it. I've had lots of new people joining our group the last couple weeks, and I think it's from you guys sharing the video. So if you're new to my Facebook group, welcome. I appreciate it. I hope you find it helpful. All right, so get these little tabs and just lay your, well, no, I want this one on the outside because it is gonna show a little bit. So make sure that bottom one is on the outside. Get it square and flush with the edge. And there we go, whoops, nope. There we go. All right, and there is your box. So cute, so easy. These would be, um, if you needed to mass produce, I think that these would be pretty easy, right? All right, and there we have it. Now this bow, I did a double bow with my twine, I'm just gonna take a piece of twine and fold it in half and treat it like it's one piece. Okay, so make a bow, holding those two pieces together like that. Snip, snip, and put that on a glue dot and right there. So cute. Now, if you are like a PTA member, PTA board member, I know a lot of times at the beginning of the year they would put little treats in our boxes. I think this would be really fun to make a bunch of these and put them in all the teachers' mailboxes um, because let me tell you, teachers go through some hand sanitizer like nobody else. And to have the good, smelly, yummy kind from Bath & Body Works is a very nice treat. So if you're a PTA person, here you go. I, I recommend these. All right, well that is it. Let's look and see. Here are our three projects. I always like to review the teacher and me back to school, yay. All right, now if you want these for free, your order has to be $30 and it has to be in by um, midnight on Monday, okay? So $30 minimum and you have to use this hostess code. If you don't use this hostess code, then I think that you didn't, you either don't want the projects or you weren't watching or something. So make sure you use the hostess code. Unless your order is over $150, don't use the hostess code. I still will send them to you, okay? Because when your order is over $150, you get Stampin' Rewards, free stuff, okay? They used to be called Hostess Rewards. 
Um, now they're called Stampin' Rewards. All right, so here are the projects. Here's the PDF, pinkbuckaroo.com. Go over, print it, and save it, and you'll have all the measurements and everything you need. And don't forget to check out my class, Card Cafe. Um, the deadline is the 21st, and my um, retreat and retreat to go. Those are both filling up fast, and they do have limits. All right, you guys, have a wonderful weekend. Let me know if you have questions and make sure to stop back by on Monday for that third, or I'm sorry, that fourth back to school project tutorial. All right, have a great weekend. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.